Our main power consumption after the sun's gone in is probably the TV and the computers and we run this off a small battery bank. We don't like running the generator because it's using petrol and solar panels are no use in the dark. We discovered through trial and error that our conventional household fridge will run quite happily if the generator's on for an hour or so in the morning and a few hours in the evening. We schedule most of our power usage around these times. I went to the local battery shop and they service all the golf carts in the local area. They said the very best batteries they've got for continuous use are Trojan T105s which they put in their golf carts and they said they were the best on the market. They tried others but they've always gone back to the Trojans so I decided that I'd give those a whirl. I got really lucky and I know somebody who was getting rid of a battery storage unit which is a stand for putting batteries in to connect to uninterruptible power supplies and the like. The stand was inexpensive and I just had to piece it all together. The advantage of the rack is it already has the fuses and the cutoff switches which is saving me a lot of work. I bought one golf cart set which was six 6 volt batteries each capable of supplying 225 amp hours. I wired the batteries in series turning two 6 volt batteries into one 12 and that gave me three of those and here's a diagram of how I did it. I put on a small solar charge controller. I installed my inverter which converts 12 volts DC into 240 volts AC for conventional power use. The inverter has the ability to let us charge the batteries with the generator. And I've connected two 250 watt solar panels onto the ceiling of the shipping container. I haven't had a chance to make the frames to point the solar panels at the sun, so I'd like to get this done as soon as possible. I was told that the wet lead acid batteries last longer and give better performance than the sealed batteries. This is why I chose them. So I need to do some maintenance. I have to keep the batteries topped up all the time. I purchased a Trojan Hydrolink system. This allows you to keep the batteries topped up from a central filling point. This makes the maintenance easier and there are indicators on the tops to show you when it needs doing. If you're enjoying these videos you can see the entire project from start to where we are now at www.containerhouse.wordpress.com